Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate scum tutorial for 2023. And yeah, um, if you're looking at the previous videos, you can do those steps that I've taught you for as long as you want. I'm just uh, moving forward as fast as possible so that I can finish this tutorial in time. Um, hopefully we can finish it before 0 0.85 comes out, which I think will drop at the end of this month. Um, and yeah, a lot of things that I'm planning for that. The 0 0.85 um, series will definitely be the most interactive and entertaining guide I've ever done. So definitely something that you guys can look forward to and definitely a reason for you to click the subscribe button if you find my videos helpful. And today's title is going to be um, the best loot. Um, the, the thumbnail will say the best loot. The title will say the best loot. Uh, but when I say the best loot, I mean the best loot for starting out. I don't mean end game. I don't mean... Um, I'm not thinking about bunkers. We're not thinking about any points um, that have sentries in them. The big city is the best loot you can find in the game without facing sentries at all, okay? So that is what we're going to focus on today. So I'm going to bring up a map quickly for you guys um, that I got again at scummap.com. I'm a supporter of that site, and I know the owner of it um very well and he's a very very nice guy and yeah i want you guys to use the scum map as much as possible just to help you out and then later on as your knowledge grows um, <clears throat> you know you can do with it what you want but i think it's a very good starting starting place to go so um at scummap.com you can go to some of more points of interest and that's what I brought up there for you guys and the map that I'm showing you the red arrows are the different um angles that you can come into the city i'm taking the the entry on the left hand side of the map which i like a lot and maybe you guys can't see the numbers right um sorry about that but yeah it's more about the info than you know the fancy little graphics that i'll probably use um in the 0 0.85 update but yeah and um, those are the numbers that that's the route that i'm taking the blue circles are optional, but the the two blue circles with the the two blue circles with the red circle around it is a Chinese shop and a hunting shop, which is quite far off of this route that I'm going to show you guys today. So the the reason I'm telling you those two are optional is because if I get a a sword, um, a Dao sword, which sells for three and a half thousand and is a very good melee weapon. If I get that sword at the first Chinese shop, um, it's not really that necessary to go to the southern Chinese shop, the blue circle with the red circle around it, unless I want to get multiple Dao swords, you know, to sell. And again, if I go to the first hunting shop, which is down this road, and I get a hiking backpack or I get what I needed, then the hunting shop at the north of the map, which is again the blue circle with a red circle around it, is also optional, okay? So the, the points that are marked is the most important points for me, but you can go to scummap.com, look at all the points, and then figure out your own routes. This is just a very, very fast route, um, so you don't spend too much time here, and yeah, let's get back to um to the city so it is it it has got this as at as <clears throat> how can we say it as Atmos atmospheric effects okay the fog um not too bad during the day as you can see the daytime isn't bad at all but of course the nighttime you find you will find it very very difficult to see so if the fog bothers you just make sure you come during the day, okay? And I'm just going to increase my sound here. Yeah, just come you through during the day, and I'm going to take you through a quick rundown. So as you guys see, that is the entry point on the left of the map that I showed you. And I'm going to show you how quickly I do this. Now, I don't have perfect clothing, so clothing is already something that I want to focus on. And the good thing with the fog is very difficult for snipers to see you from a distance or for you to get killed from a distance. So most fights will be quite close range. 
the person will, will either need to hear you or see you, which is not that easy. So you're just going to run down this road. There are other points that I can loot, but I'm showing you guys the fastest route for me. I'm just sticking to the road until I see this gap in the road. And you actually want to go down this road at the sandbags and this thing. But I'm just going to make a detour. I'm going to make a detour to the left to just get to the clothing shop. Okay. So that is the main road where we want to be on. But we will take a detour to this clothing shop if we don't have clothing. Okay. So I'm just coming to this clothing shop quickly. Puppets aren't really a problem. Unless they hide your arrows from you. Okay, he's still hiding my arrows. So here you guys see a clothing shop. So I just press tab to see if there's any clothing that will be better than the clothing that I'm wearing. And um, there's a blue jean. I'm happy with the blue jean that I've got. Um, there's another different color top here. So I'll use the different color top because orange is not the best color in the world. Um, okay, but this one carries less weight. This one carries less weight. Okay, so let's just keep on looking. If we can get better options here. Maybe a jacket or something. Okay, so here's a hat. Not much in this clothing store at the moment. Um, and for now, we can always craft an axe. So I'm not going to let that be the deciding factor of what I'm going to take. But like I say, um, always nice to look for clothing. And then all you do now is you, you go right to get to that road that I, that, that I said. So you just jump here over the playground. You will get drinks and stuff in here sometimes, which is nice. There's another can in there. Okay, so not bad going across to the playground. Seeing if we see anything here. Here's a two liter bottle, which is excellent. That two liter bottle will actually be better than the two cans. But you can use a can for like um, a suppressor or something like that. So again, we're back on the road that we want to be on with the points that I marked. And the first thing you're going to run into is the Chinese shop. Which has these cardboard boxes. You can see there's shoe boxes. Shoe boxes. And then there's cardboard boxes. The cardboard boxes are the boxes that can give you swords. And of course we saw a Dao sword there on the shelf. So we're just going to grab that Dao sword. We can sell it for three and a half thousand. Or we can use it. But we're just going to search the cardboard boxes. Not the shoe boxes. The shoe boxes are going to give you like Chinese clothing and stuff like that. Which isn't that important. So let's get through this. We just check the... We just look at the cardboard boxes. Okay, so we've cleared the Chinese shop. There's a little shop next door. Where you can press tab to see if there's a sword in your vicinity. And you just search these cardboard boxes for the possibility of Dao Sword. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. There's garages that you can search there for cars. But again, we're trying to do this as fast as possible. So we're going to keep running down this road. Here you'll get a bar or a club. When you search the bar, it's quite easy to find absinthe. Okay, and absinthe you can use with your bandages. So let's go in here because we have got space for absinthe. So you just run through the tables until you see absinthe. You can collect the alcohol to sell it at the traders if you've got a lot of inventory space. I'm just going to sort out these puppets quickly. The bar has got fridges. Where you can find you know cool drink and stuff stuff that you can sell stuff that you can use but again we're just focusing on the absinthe and again you can collect all this alcohol the beer isn't worth a lot but like the 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 vodka and the wine is is like worth and the tequila is like 150 bucks each 
okay so quite an easy way to make money but again we're just looking for the absinthe okay if we can't there we go there's the absinthe and of course we can use the absinthe with rags to make aseptic rags which is the best way to heal i don't know how many how much money those glasses are worth but we're going to wear the glasses in any case and again you've got your fridges here that can give you you know can give you a lot of things so few uses that this place got <clears throat> but we're going to carry on on the road there is a gun shop there that can give you ammo and weapons down that road is a vehicle repair shop that can give you screwdrivers toolboxes um a vehicle maybe if you're lucky um but yeah vehicle repair shops are very important to get like vehicle parts um different um you know different parts for different vehicles toolboxes screwdrivers um vehicle repair kits okay just very very useful that's a gun shop it will have uh, puppets in there um you can either kill the puppets or shoot them in the head so i'm just going to show you how to deal with the puppets so you can walk in and you can wa wait for him to run after you which is a good option so he's going to run after you you're going to run away and then you're going to block him in here because he usually if he can't have a direct route to you he, he usually stops <laughs> You know, so I use these sandbags. It usually stops him here. And then I go into the gun shop. And that guy's down there. I must just not wake him up. And the big reason with the explode is you want to search anything that's in the open. Because the, the, the suicide puppets doesn't destroy what's in the containers. They destroy what's on the outside. Okay, like that. He would have destroyed that. And he's going to explode soon. It's just a rail. It's a, it's a, it's a revolver rail. So it's not that bad. So there he goes. And now you can just search the place. You can find ammo here. Okay. It's a gun shop. So you can find ammo. If you're lucky, you can find a gun. You can find night vision in here. Sometimes you can find night vision in here. Um, and I'm just seeing, yeah, it's going to be worth more than that gunpowder. And yeah, that's it, okay? Easy, easy way to get rid of these suicide puppets. And just, sometimes you're going to get lucky, or sometimes you're not going to get lucky. Like I say, the vehicle repair shop is down there. This place right here, the tool shop, is very, very important. We're still on the exact same road. Tool shop is very important for tools to craft your base and if you're very lucky um screwdriver okay so we haven't gotten the we haven't gotten the the armor that we need but i mean that toolbox is 20 uses this toolbox is 50 uses and when we get the helmet and the tactical armor that we need we can only repair that piece of armor to 50 percent so one toolbox is more than enough for the first item that you're going to find okay and i've got enough bolts for now so i'm not focusing on bolts but you just walk through here again there's another toolbox and um, that's making me think that i want to make plans here okay i'm struggling a bit with loot space uh but carrying two carrying two toolboxes is really good i'm gonna let the knife go guys i'm gonna let the knife go um and I want to make the pistol holster as soon as possible to give myself some space. But now with two toolboxes with 50 uses, not only is it great for a base, but it's great because now I can repair the tactical armor to 50% and I can repair the helmet to 50%. But of course, I need to get to those puppets first. And you can see what you can get here. Box of nails, duct tape, okay? A lot of items that you're going to need for base building. Um, so just the overall great place. And you can find yellow screwdrivers in here which is absolutely fantastic okay you you won't find them often but when you find them it's definitely definitely worth it so now we're going to run further there's a water point there okay and from here you can go down this road you see there's the tool shop you can go left right here to go to the other chinese shop but i've, I've already got a sword so i'm just focusing on this one road 
which is very very important to me and you guys can always play this video back to see the route that i've taken and i'm basically on my way to the under on, on, to the first hunting shop because a better bow and more silencers, a stabilizer, shotgun ammo. The hunting shop can give you a lot of items, but it can give you, it has got a chance to give you a better backpack. So we're just going to see now, now this is the other gun shop. There's not a lot of ways to get rid of the exploders. I usually run in a circle there. But as soon as you get, get all right with the bow, you can sort them out quite easily. Like you can just shoot them in the head. Okay, you can shoot them in the head. And then you can try and pick up whatever you can. Okay, so that's ammo there. Again, I'm not worried about the containers. He's only going to destroy the things that are not in the containers. Okay. Um, so, 45, I'm going to replace that. But again, he's only going to destroy the things. Okay, and I'm going to get out of the room. I think there's something behind him, but that's not bad. And he pro I think he destroyed something at the back here. Uh, nothing major. Nothing major. And then you can search the place, guys. Ammo. You know, possible ammo, possible guns. You can search this entire place. And my puppets are set to a one times multiplier and 100% spawn probability. So those World War II bunkers that we went to that had no puppets, you won't find puppets there most of the time okay um okay so here's two marketplaces and i'm going to use one of the clothing shops that are optional because the first clothing shop didn't really give me what i wanted okay for the specific reason that the first clothing shop didn't give me what i wanted a lot of glitchy puppets over here so be careful that puppet there is very 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 gl glitchy okay so again this is my main road that i want to go on i would have searched that and that if i needed cool drink or absinthe i don't need absinthe i don't need cool drink okay so i'm not going to search those two shops but i'm going to make a quick left here just to go to the other clo clothing shop because i'd like to get i'd like to get a better jacket and we are going to get better jackets and stuff from military puppets but that's not really what we focus on when we come here so again, just going to press tab. There's a nice jacket. Okay, so that jacket is going to help me a heck, a heck of a lot with loot space. Okay, so that jacket is already helping me a lot. Um, then I'm just going to see what else I can find. I can always cut up this clothing for rags. So I'm going to put that there, put that there, just so that I can cut it up for rags if I ever need rags. Okay, and that's it. Okay, already got a better jacket, which is a big, big, big help. Um, and yeah, that's much better than a, than a military jacket. Okay, it's not the perfect color, but I mean, clothing-wise, we're quite good at the moment. What we are not good with is the fact that a hiking backpack will make a major, major difference. But again, to get the hiking backpack, you need to be patient. I've only got two arrows left, which is not good. But we all know how to craft arrows, so I'm not going to focus on that right now. So here is the end of my route. There is a big shopping, like a big supermarket there where you can get food and other things, but we, we're focusing on this, on this hunting shop. And we don't want any distractions while we're busy. So I'm going to get this guy's attention because I don't want any distractions while I'm busy there. Down here is more garages where you can find cars and screwdrivers and everything. Okay. But what we want to do here is we either want to get them out or we want to shoot them. There's already a backpack, but it's not a big backpack. So what I can do is I can grab the shotgun ammo immediately, which is oh, already good. And now I just want to wake up this puppet so hopefully he comes out. And I want to use the dull sword to get rid of this woman. And I'd like to get this guy out of here. Can you come to me? Okay, it looks like he got stuck. So now I want to see there's shotgun ammo, there's a Bushman, there's carbon crossbow bolts, which is not worth it. That backpack isn't better than the backpack that I've got. 
okay but i wanna i wanna move around here there's a jacket there's my arrow don't want to get too close to him otherwise we're gonna blow up but i want to get as close as i can and that's it okay that's it so when that when that hunting shop doesn't give me what i want and what i want yes he gave me he gave me um, buckshot i've got a lot of buckshot i've got slugs so if i craft a shotgun i'm gonna be very lethal but i still i'm still hoping for a backpack or a compound bow or, or some more silences you know look, look the hunting shops have got a lot of potential so again the okay again i'm coming to this um to this clothing store here just want to see what injury i've got here c1 so it's no problem so what i'm going to do now is there's the clothing store there's the big basketball court okay what i'm going to do now is i'm going to run right through here you can go around but i'm just going to make it easier for you you run with the basketball court on your right and after the basketball court, you're going to get an athletics track, which is which I always also use as a reference. And then here on your left, you're going to have a police station, which you can use if you want. But we're just going, again, optional. Not going to the Chinese shop in the south. I got a Dower Sword. I am going to the hunting shop in the north because I'm not completely happy with what I've got. Okay, so there you can see there's the basketball court here's the athletics track just want to show you guys what it looks like okay it's like a little um athletics track or well where you can run in a circle there and i want to get to the south side of it just look at the map yeah that bigger map will help you guys a lot more but i basically want to get to this corner of it Okay, very happy that I had two arrows there, or three arrows there. And again, took my arrows. And yeah, I'm going to make a noise if I cut down a bush. I'm going to make a noise. But in any case, there's the athletics track down there is the basketball court. So I want to be on this corner. What can we identify at this corner? There is the other gun shop. Okay, there you can see the little sign. There's the other gun shop. There's broken down stuff. There's the circle thing here. It's on this corner, guys. Okay. And then I just go forward down this road. And then the other hunting shop is going to be through here. Although a lot of puppets spawn here, so you must be very, very careful. Okay. So there's a puppet there. And there's a puppet there. So you want to sort these guys out be before you get close to the hunting shop because the hunting shop is right there but when you get close to the hunting shop the beepers are going to activate and if any other puppets heard you they are going to wake up and they're going to bother you okay they're going to interrupt what you're trying to do i'm going to get my dao sword now just to fix this problem a little bit quicker <laughs> Okay. Want to check my arrow count? I've got two arrows. So this should be standard. Okay, so there they activate. I'm going to walk slowly. So I don't wake up any puppets behind me. Go shoot him in the head. And there we go. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Okay. So we're going to take that. Just double click on everything as fast as possible. Or we can just drag it outside. We don't have to be in a rush like this. Um, we're going to put that there. We're going to put the bow on the ground. We're going to take that. Try and get out of the blast radius. He's dead. Now I'm going to use the wall to protect myself. Yes, he did hurt gear, guys. But it's not really gear that, I, that I'm full of nonsense about. That's a ballista bow. That's This is a mower okay so we just got the best bow in the game we can always repair that bow with the uh, with the toolbox okay we haven't got any arrows left there is a compound bow 
Okay, so you can choose now. And I don't even have to choose. I can take the compound bow with me. And I can choose later. Don't have to choose right now. But I hope you guys can see the differences now. The, you know? And bows don't sell for a lot, but there's a fishing rod. There's an advanced compass. Okay, if you ever want to go fishing, there's a fishing rod. So as you guys can see, the hunting shops are worth a lot. There's new military boots. It's not not the boots that we had but i mean still military boots the only difference is that they don't have inventory space but the thing is inventory space is not going to be a problem for us anymore okay so we've got a sniper rifle we've got one of the best media weapons in the game and we've got one of the best bows in the game we've got two of the best bows in the game okay and we can put the silencer on and this is one trip guys we can always come here again okay we can always come here again but this is what we're looking like at the moment okay got the cool glasses on and i want to get the hunting shop here in view okay and we've got no orange clothing le left okay so we've got we've got the basics and that's why i say this is the best town we can get more ammo now if we want to. We can loot the. We can loot the. Um, like we can loot the basketball court. The basketball court has got military containers in there. We can loot um, the garages. We can loot all the points that you see on the scummap.com. If you go to scummap.com, points of interest, Summerbore City, and you zoom in on the map, you can loot all the points. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Because this is close, I'm just going to do an in and out. I'm going to go come in. Okay. It's a natural in and out route. If I want to get another dower sword, I can go get another dower sword. Okay, I don't have, um, what I can do is, I think, I think I've got a, do I have a nine more round? That's the question. No, I don't have a nine more round. So I'm going to have to get, try and get this guy out of here. There's a magazine. Again, I'm just focusing on what he can destroy. And if he comes out, I'm happy. <laughs> and now I just want to lose him. It's as easy as that. I just want to lose him. Now I want to rest a bit. Just wait for me to explode. He's out of the... He's out of the building. I don't care about him. The only reason I care about him is I don't want him to destroy the loot. So I either want him to get, like, the hunting shop. I want to get him out of there, or I want to shoot him in the head and loot what I can loot very, very quickly. But, but the hunting shop that we did now is quite difficult because you can't really scope it out without getting into range of the suicide puppets, okay? A lot of people throw rocks in front of the hunting shop, you know, to get them out. I usually just try and give them an angle. And if you're not, if you don't have a lot of loot on you, um, what do I mean with not a lot of loot on you? Like you run, guys, you run faster, okay? You run faster if you have, if you're not carrying anything in your hands. But in any case, now, now we can come in here. And loot the gun shop. Okay. And all of this is giving you money. Whether you want to use it or not, it's still giving you money. Doesn't matter if you want to use it. Everything you get, you can sell. Okay. And I'm going to show you what this works out to because everything I'm teaching you flows. 
everything everything flows into one another it's natural it feels natural and you know most of my leveling guides i'm letting you multitask as as much as possible which makes a big difference and like i say from here you can go to the southern chinese shop if you want to you can go and look at the two um as you're going to that chinese shop you will encounter another vehicle another vehicle repair shop and um, where you can get vehicle repair kits screwdrivers toolboxes you know and a bunch of different parts and we can get a lot more than what we have now but for now this is it okay this is where i want you to be from here we are going to bury um the chest or we're going to go to the traders okay um not neither of these bows are worth money but they i mean there is a difference so i'm just going to cut down this bush for you and try and not use the sword a lot because you know it's got durability so just going to make a few arrows here quickly we are making a lot of noise but there's no puppets close to us so it doesn't matter just going to make space for these arrows Now, for stealth kills and PvP kills, I prefer the compound bow. For just overall ease of use, I prefer the ballista. Because with my archery skill, I've got a dot. You see? So I put the dot there, pull the bow back. The thing is, the ballista, I'm not. Uh, my archery skill isn't high enough for the ballista just yet and i know i can get a ballista again very easily okay so because of that i'm going to put down the ballista but we can always come back there's two hunting shops in the big city we will always get a ballista again we've got the scrapyard at the scrapyard you can get a ballista bow very very easily okay so i'm going to put that silence on there and then as soon as i can i'm going to craft the stabilizer stabilizer helps a heck of a lot um, and now, you know, I can use the bow comfortably. And this thing's got a zoom. The zoom helps a lot. And for anyone that struggles with aiming, you can't go wrong. Because you just put that little dot there. And there you go. Okay? And the zoom helps. It's a little bit uncomfortable close range. But again, you can just punch them backwards. You know? Um, to sort them out. You can punch them. Or you can pull out your sword. You know? If they're too close. But I mean, this is very... This is very, very good for stealth kills. And I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration here. You don't need to get close to puppets with this weapon. Okay, so this is the basketball court. Okay, and we are getting very hot at the moment. So because I don't really need the extra heat at the moment or the extra inventory space, I'm going to drop this. I don't need to drop it. I can just put it there, okay, to cool myself off a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that will help me a bit because we are getting a bit hot. We need to be closer to 36. But in any case, that's a basketball court with a lot of military loot. Or you can loot this building here. And again, clothing doesn't sell for a lot, but you can search these these cupboards okay clothing doesn't sell for a lot but like if you get a good mask or something you can take it with you okay or some or another jacket there's a green jacket but remember there's a difference between a jock jacket and a spitfire jacket jock jacket is two kilograms and nine slots this is three kilograms and nine slots okay so it's actually better and it's green or maybe you like the look i don't know i just like green because i like having camouflage okay so it's all up to you and again we don't need those two to uh, the clothing i'm i keep the clothing because when i get and i'll take this with i can sell it i keep the clothing because if when i get scissors medical scissors then i can get like i have there so instead of carrying a bunch of rags on you you can rather just 
um, take the scissors. And remember, I'm triple carrying, so I have to... I have to take note of everything or instead of taking note of everything and maybe losing my sword at some point i'm gonna see if i can fit the sword in um so we're gonna put that there we're gonna put that there we're gonna raise that pistol and i've i mean i can still make the holster guys so i can put the sword there and add the sword to my quick slot okay add the sword, sword to my quick slot and then i don't have to triple carry anymore but again, like I say, with the scissors, instead of having like a bunch of rags on me, I can just cut up this with scissors. So that, this beanie is only taking up one slot. But if I've got medical scissors, it's giving me four rags. Four rags would have taken four slots. Okay. So that is a very, very big tip with how having clothing on you is actually better than having rags on you. Um, except if you're not carrying the clothing or the absinthe, then that saves you a lot of slots. But you, if you always want absinthe on you, then having clothing, clothing on you is better. And again, always right-click on the absinthe bottle, not on the rags, okay, to do this very quickly. And I like to always have about three, four, four great rags with me. Okay. Now we're not triple carrying anymore. We can press three to switch to our sword. The only problem is when we go to our bow again, the sword is not going to go back because it wants to it wants to lay down somewhere horizontal horizontally. So you're going to have to just drag it back to your backpack, okay? Whenever you use it. But like I say, search these things, okay? Maybe you get a mask. Maybe you get something that you can sell. Maybe you get a piece of clothing that you like. Maybe you get pantyhose. Okay, I don't even know how, how much pantyhose goes for, but there's a lot of there's a lot of new items. So if you really want a sexy woman that you're playing with, then yeah, you know, this is a good place to loot. And then I am gonna quickly because I'm not full and I'd like to be full, so I'm gonna quickly loot the the basketball court. But hopefully there's puppets here. And I can let you understand how anything at range cannot compete with you. It's when it gets close to you where it becomes a little bit scary. But anything at range won't compete with you. Like if this woman stands up, I need to struggle to aim for her head. I can just put this on her head or on her chest. Okay, and you can just halfway, you can release it halfway. But I mean, you're going to shoot where you're aiming at. That's the big thing. You don't need to worry about the dot, okay? This is very, very easy for people that struggle with the bow. And I mean, you don't have to aim for the head, okay? You can you can make sure that you never miss them. I'm just gonna see if there's another puppet in here. There should be. Okay, looks like all the puppets went on holiday today. But in any case, now I can search all of these things, okay? I, and like running on here is also good. Sometimes there's stuff on the steps, okay? So not a lot, but I have found cool loot like this. So you can just jump on here and just run through it instead of looking at everything. You know, you can just jump through here, see if you miss anything. And then you can fill up your backpack like this because there's also military loot. The school, there's a school in town which has got military loot as well. There's, you know, there's gun shops, there's hunting shops. This place has got everything, guys. Everything, okay? Except for the military puppets that we need for the armor. But that is why we're going to naturally introduce you to sentry practice without stealth we're going to practice on sentries without stealth in the next part of this tutorial if you struggle too much then we're going to focus that you level up your stealth because you're going to we want you to level up your stealth in any case no matter what but if you struggle if you're struggling make sure you watch the next part of this tutorial because i'm going to give you in-depth tutorial on megs and i'm going to take them on with zero stealth okay which means we're going to make a heck of a lot of noise so guys 
I'm not finding a lot at the moment, but I mean, I will fill up my backpack here. If you enjoy this video, do me a favor and click that like button. Okay, there's a bottle of alcohol. If you enjoy this video, click the like button. And if you want to see and learn everything that you used to share and learn about Scum, then click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next part of this tutorial where we're going to do Centuries 101 with Luthias. Cheers, guys. Later.